Obstetric fistula is a considerable problem in Bangladesh. Fistula is caused by obstructed labor, whereby the mother develops a hole in her genitalia. Her baby is often stillborn. The mother soon finds that she cannot hold her urine and sometimes her feces as well. She soon starts to develop a foul smell. Her husband is likely to leave her. Eventually, she finds herself ostracized by the whole community. She will take residence in a family member's house and live a life of isolation and suffering. The population suffering from obstetric fistula is usually between the ages of 15 to 30, illiterate, impoverished, and unaware that help is available. As they are forced into isolation, they cannot work, leaving them financially desperate on family members to take care of them. They experience immense physical and emotional pain. In the area in which Hope serves, the average age of marriage is 15 years old and 50% are malnourished. Both of these factors lead to narrow birth canals, which in turn lead to complicated fistula cases. Complicated fistula often takes several surgeries before the women are completely cured. I had a bad pregnancy. During labor, I was home for one day, and the next day I was taken to the district hospital. My baby died and was transferred to the regional hospital, where I stayed for three days. My husband left me. The community people hate me and insult me because of the smell. I am constantly leaking urine. Hope Foundation for Women and Children of Bangladesh was established in 1999 to serve the impoverished women and children of Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. Hope began providing fistula surgeries three years ago and we made tremendous progress. Research reveals that over 5,000 women are suffering in Cox's Bazar and our goal is to eradicate fistula completely. To do this, we need dining for women's help. Our proposed solution is to build a dedicated obstetric fistula team. Having a specialized team is crucial. It will let us do repair surgeries on a year-round basis. We can train hospital staff to better serve fistula patients. Next comes the extensive education campaign to root out fistula in the first place. Eventually, our aim is to establish Hope Hospital as a center of excellence for treating fistula. This dedicated team will consist of four female staff members, a support physician, an outreach coordinator, a nurse, and a social worker. The first part of our plan is immediate treatment of the patients. Even finding these patients can be hard. We need an outreach coordinator to locate and recruit patients, as well as a social worker to counsel them. Primary care will be provided by Hope's fistula surgeon, assisted by a support physician. This allows the surgeon to complete more surgeries per year. Eventually, the assistant physician will become a fully trained, independent fistula surgeon. The nurse will be specially trained for fistula care. And let us not forget the need to integrate a recovered patient back into the community. Our social worker will be trained and tasked with that responsibility. The second part of our plan is to eradicate the root causes of obstetric fistula. The outreach coordinator will travel to remote villages, work with Hope's Mother's Clubs, village birth attendants, medicine shopkeepers, and village doctors to educate them on what fistula is, how to identify it, and how to prevent it. Your commitment will pay for the training and salaries of our fistula team for a year. It will also pay for the outreach and education program. Annually, we will treat at least 100 fistula patients. We are indirectly impacting 1,000 women and girls per year through outreach and education directives and thousands in the years to come through our prevention campaign. The impact of your help will be beyond measure. I am from Moshkali. I was at home in labor for three days. I was taken to a hospital where I stayed for 13 days. Since then, I started leaking. I went to my parents' house because my husband kicked me out. I went back to my husband, but he didn't like me. He would hate me, humiliate me. I heard from people about the Hope Hospital, so I came. I am very poor and I don't have any money for treatment. I am very young. I need help. I want to get better. I need your help, please. These women need your help. We hope that you will join us in the fight against obstetric fistula. With your help, we can make it happen.